hey what's up guys welcome to this video here we are going to learn how to filter data uh, with ajax request as you can see i have a table here and uh, when we search something inside the search box so it must filter the data and how it is doing it is requesting the server new data based on what i write in this box so let's see if we go to the inspect here on the network tab and here we have the fetch ajax request so whatever i type here uh, let's say five okay on my each uh, word that i type it will send a request to the server let's say it's now uh, five let's say if i just remove it and just write i ajax and it is again sending requests to the server okay you can see that the data is filtered and it is sending request and we get uh, such result from it so how can we do uh, it with the help of alpine js it is very easy and uh, one of the best methods for small size projects that i always use for big projects it will be a burden if we just send request on every word or every letter that we type but for the small projects it does not matter okay first we have to understand the, the structure of this file uh, this data that we get here also comes from an ajax request after all this view is loaded so if i come to the inspect again and let's go to the When I refresh the page, you can see that it just sent uh, a fetch request and uh, just re received all data from server. So uh, while I'm applying this filter, this filter, your structure must be the same like this one that when your view is loaded, it should send a request to the server, get data. And with that uh, structure, we can go ahead and implement our filter. So uh, let's do it okay uh, we have uh, something like this uh, here with the alpine js it is very easy to do such things uh, for very small size uh, single page applications let's see here we have uh, we have a container like we have declared a x data directive of uh, alpine js and the post post array and when the uh, div is actually initiated or executed or uh, created so it will send an ajax request to this route and get the data and put it inside the posts array and this and uh, down below here we will loop through loop through this array and uh, put the data inside these columns and rows so this is the basic structure and this this gives us something like this now we will add a search box here and add more uh, features to it okay let's start by adding uh, an input and uh, while we just type on the input it should send an ajax request to the server and fetch new data so i'm going to add the uh, and the input here above the table so let's say we have a component uh, in laravel components like x input so we can use that x input it is having somehow uh, css by default so we can use that for the x input i'll just say with the alpine js directive let's say x model i'll declare it as x model and just name it as q you can name anything it does not matter we will later define it here inside our x data directive and i'll just say add input dot d bounce it means that whenever we write something key down and key up events we have in javascript so it will handle that one and input d bounce whenever we press a key and just leave it so it will handle it should just call a method here and what method it is upon us whether we name it at search or we name it submit or whatever we say so i'll say rather that whenever uh, we debounce or we press a key on this field it should uh, do something and then it is a 
and JavaScript function it should call this function where is this function yet we don't have and with the alpine js we can uh, we can declare functions also inside the x data directive so here first i will just declare a queue because we need it and this is the more for the more for our model search model and down below we can just uh, make a function like say submit and let's say i'll just call it uh, it should be a synchronous it will do better work for us and search it and whenever we get the search result it will put it uh, whatever we want to do so inside this method we can say that like the previous uh, fetch request we have done above here you can say await await fetch and we can go to this uh, something this route so just a little bit change will be here uh, so let's say let's check it yeah we'll say just go uh, and to this uri so i'm just changing this page to search and now because it is not a get method we have to mention the uh, we have to mention the method as well because we are sending some kind of data x model q uh, x model it means whatever we write on this input it should automatically uh, be uh, written or, or in this queue as well so when we say that you should fetch something from this uri and the method should be post so for that kind of change we need some extra uh, data to put here so i'll put some extra data here like the method the uh, xcsrf token and other things so you just say method should be post and uh, with the method we should say some headers as well like uh, it we will not get the result until we send this headers as well okay application slash json and then we have to send this csrf token or else uh, laravel will not pass it from the controller so we will not get any data if we don't pass the csrf token so where is the csrf token i have declared it here down oh i forgot to do that so first i will just uh, create a form tag inside the form i'll bring this input and before input i'll declare a csrf token so we have to take the content of this csrf token document dot uh, head dot query selector i should select something from the content and where's that content that is a meta tag which is having a name equal to csrf token it is uh, the the structure of this is something it is having a name of csrf token we can simply do that by writing here okay dot content content of this we are done with this one with this header file and after that we have to send because uh, the method is post so it, it must have a body and now we will declare the body and it should get the body from transferring and which data no, from the key this dot key. so it will just simply send as a body of this post request this queue the queue is the uh our search model and whatever we write it will be inside the queue and the queue will be sent with this post request to this uri post let's search let's test it whether the request is sent or not let's come to the network and to ajax request refresh it and let's see what we get here even we did not get the uh, search box where is the search box let's say the type type should be text 
yeah i forgot to put the type that's why okay now i'll just put some class as well here a margin y of four to make something better okay now let's go to the input and to the network and see if we debounce or we press any key will it send a request or not we don't get the result yet but i know but we just want yeah we send um, something like search is sent but we don't get anything yet because we have no routes we have no um, methods or, or functions in our pool our controller so now we have to create this route here we have to come i'll just copy this one just change this method to post and this one to search so it will just uh, get the uh, get the recognition to the uh, post controller to the search function where is the search function we don't have yet here we go in the post controller we have created fetch all these functions but we don't have the um uh, search function now i have to create public function search and let's say you can name it anything here whatever you name it just be careful it should be the same thing should be here and as you can see we receive a post a post request uh, with this method so here we have the we must have the data we must receive the data via this uh, method and now let's go let's uh, whatever we uh, receive here we should uh, search based on that and uh, send the data back so i'll just say post equal to post find or just where i use the where statement of uh, laravel and say so where so um, we should search i think on the title whenever anybody some writes something here it should go and search inside the title so for that we can just say title like and like word like uh, something like uh, a simple uh, a square a simple square request q okay now this will get our data from the database this is a post model and it is uh, uh, imported before so we will not have any problem there now let's return this post return this post okay let's save it and go and search again what we get i know we don't get thing here because we have not done the task but i just want to see inside our console let's say network and whenever we type here for example let's type f yeah the request is sent and it just say 404 not found why is that post slash search the request method is still get i think i have done something wrong here or oh, this is the, the 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 second parameter here uh it is not the second and the third parameter it is not for the uh for this await it is actually for the fetch because we fetch from this uri so inside this we have to give it a inside this we have to give it the second parameter and send uh say uh, what we want we should you should fetch from this url and then it should be it should pass all this data inside so yeah that was uh, i think my mistake and from here we can go and we'll see if it sends the request let's refresh again come here and type something let's say f not even sending a request i don't think anything is wrong let's uh, refresh it again and come here and let's say uh, write just if yeah it is sending a request again but it, yeah now we got the method is post it is changed okay but we don't get anything 
here the queue is also sent what they but we don't get the response that we want from it and why is that because because we have to get each fish it via the guest get method and now let's say just type in if so again 404 or 404 it did not find the uh, actually the post our post slash search let's go to our route posts oh yeah search it should be search actually so refresh it and come here and just say if yeah it sent send data successfully to the controller and we get the data here so we when we get the data we just have to uh, we have to put it again inside this post because we have a post uh, already we have a post array so we can just say this dot posts equal and now because it's a sync function and whenever it gets data it will put it directly to the post array which is here and this will loop here uh, in our table let's save it and check it what we get the request is sent so we don't need that and if i just type it ajax here it will send the data and we will get it. so hope you get something from this video thank you very much kindly like subscribe and share this with your friends